All right, John, thanks. Well, tonight, as the Israel-Hamas war continues on, so does the one in Ukraine with Russia. And while that's what uh, Ukrainians we spoke with today are certainly concerned about saying the war in the Middle East may draw attention and funding from their fight against Russia. Our Tom Kowalski spoke with several local Ukrainians today. Tom, what do they have to say? Well, Mike and Eva, like you said, much of the uh, media coverage today is focused on the Israel-Hamas war since it began just over a month ago, with many Ukrainians speaking with me today, calling for people to not forget about their war against the Russia invasion. With no ceasefire for the Israel-Hamas war in sight, and much media coverage turning towards the growing conflict, supporters of Ukraine are concerned about the lack of attention given to their ongoing conflict with Russia. Native Ukrainian Alina Berlakova worries about her family and says it's important for people to not forget about them. It's a sad situation. There's no way to make it better. But we do still need to talk about this because the war is still happening and my family members are still in a very active war zone where my home was. And the frustration about the lack of coverage is shared by Native Ukrainian and Logistics Plus COO, Yuri Ostapiak. There's definitely been kind of what some of the experts called war fatigue because the war is going into its, you know, well into the second year. And especially with escalation in the Middle East, there's been quite less coverage. There's been quite a lot less um, help. Ostapiak says Logistics Plus, a longtime supporter of Ukraine's fight against the Russian invasion, is continuing to support Ukraine despite the lack of coverage. We continue to use our warehouses to collect humanitarian aid. We continue to donate. We're currently the only Western company that is handling massive infrastructure projects inside of Ukraine. We are moving about 40,000 metric tons of casing pipe for Ukrainian um, gas sector, which is of crucial importance to its people, to its national security as well. We're facing constant bombardments in the ports that we are using, and we're one of the first Western companies on the import side into Ukraine to be using the ports in Donoyu River, as well as Chernomoysk and Odessa. Now, the Grace Slavic Pentecostal Church has been gathering money each month from its members to send to Ukraine. If you'd like to donate, you can visit gracespc.com or Logistics Plus's website. We'll also have those links on erienewsnow.com. Live in the studio, Tom Kowalski, Erie News Now.